The man grabbed the child's legs tightly and took one step towards deeper water the child was pulled into the water unable to breathe. Mark, who had been videotaping the incident, soon realized that someone was waving for help and rushed downstairs to tell his mother. The child's parents also noticed the problem and jumped into the pool to help. Both were rescued, and the child's legs were left red and swollen with tears. The parents learned from the child that Paul grabbed his legs and would not let go, but fortunately the child did not have an accident, so they said they would not prosecute Paul. But after this incident, people began to distrust Paul's family. Anna realized that the pool was behind all this and told Paul to move out of the house immediately. But Paul had become obsessed with the pool and thought that Anna was being paranoid. Anna realized that Paul was obsessed and drained the pool. Then she looked online and found out that many other people who lived here before Rebecca's death had disappeared. Then she found the original owner of the house, an old lady with an oxygen tank, and Anna got straight to the point and asked about the pool. It turned out that Rebecca was the old lady's daughter, and that before the pool was built, there was a spring on the property, and no one knew what was under the water. But the black water could fulfill people's wishes and the price for that was a life. The old lady sacrificed her daughter to save her sick son. In the process, Someone had to be the vessel and the old woman was that role she had been tortured by the black water for decades and as she spoke, the black water came out of her stomata. Anna was so taken with this that she ran away and just as she was rushing home, the black water from the pool came out again and went down the hose to the bathroom where Paul was vomiting in the shower. Paul, who was in the shower? vomited and was soon overcome by the black water. When the two sisters returned home at night, they couldn't find their parents and began to look for them. By now the pool was full of water and Mark heard the civet cat was trapped in the swimming ring and went up to the diving board. That's when the cover over the pool shook itself. When Mark reached the floating point, he didn't find the civet, but the monster dragged him into the pool. The cloth cover is also spinning automatically trying to trap him in the pool luckily. His sister found it in time but her strength is not able to fight against it. Mom arrived in time to destroy the mechanism after Anna told her daughter to go into the house to report to the police and she jumped into the pool to look for her son. The pool is now a deep pool of water. Strong water Anna quickly found the horse but when she swims back upstream a group of water monsters chased after her. Anna frantically broke away from them until Rebecca's little girl appeared and gave her a coin with a smiley face on it. As the coin slowly floated up Anna realized she was swimming in the wrong direction and saw the exit of the pool she swam as hard as she could to the only light.